Hey everybody, I'm up here on the third floor and I just wanted to quickly set the stage for the pictures that you're about to see. We're gonna show you some pictures of the roof and uh, pictures from 2019 and the damage that was sustained just to refresh everybody's memory. And then we're gonna show you some before pictures and then the after pictures of the transforming work that's been done up here on the third floor. As I said in the announcements of the second floor, we're gonna wait to show you until that's, that's in better shape because right now it is being painted and we're undergoing a sur sorting and purging um, stage of many things. So here's why this is exciting. Because for the community groups that do use this space, it has just opened the room up and opened the floor up to more possibilities. In the process of sorting and purging and doing a deep clean, we have opened up three additional rooms. Three additional rooms that can now be offered as meeting spaces or for us to look for opportunities of how we might be able to engage community folks and help meet a need for, for space. More importantly, it is exciting because what this has done is this has created a warmer, welcoming, and more hospitable space for the groups to let them know that we value their presence and we are grateful that they are here. Now, all the groups that use Fair Street over the course of the week when we are functioning as an open space and up and running, they are all meeting remotely. And as they don't feel safe meeting in person and our building is still closed, so it will be a while before they are ready and feeling safe to reopen and re-engage in person. But what will happen is, is that when they are ready, we're going to be ready and we're going to be able to offer this exciting transformed space. I'm excited to see their reaction. They have not seen it yet. They have not even gotten hints of the projects that are on hand. So as you can see, Zeke is also enjoying some of the updates that have taken place on the third floor. and. Uh, you should probably know that he has approved all of the changes and all of the updates and he has been monitoring and checking in each day to see how things are going and and so it is Zeke approved. Truthfully and honestly, we could not have done this without a few folks and so to say thank you to Ann Kalmbach, Sharon Amorelli, Tim Kovaleski along with Victor and Sam and Painter Jeff to Ellen and the Clock Foundation, and to several of you who have made contributions, but also for your prayers, your excitement and encouragement during this process. I do hope and pray that you are as excited as we are. Thank you and enjoy. We hope that you enjoyed the pictures and the changes and updates and transformation on the third floor of the education building. Stay tuned for more updates coming from the second floor.